Today we are going to talk about the Prime Minister of Bhutan, Lenchen Dasho Dr. Lotte Tsering. You must be having your own preference of a political party or a politician. However, let's take some time to appreciate the sacrifices made by His Excellency for the people of Bhutan. The Prime Minister of Bhutan is known as Mijay Lenchen in our national language and he is a doctor too and he has earned a title of a Dasho and he is a Desuk too. Likewise, he is also a recipient of various titles and awards and has achieved a lot in his life. His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Bhutan, Lenchen Dasho Dr. Lotte Tsering, was born on 10th of May in the year 1969. Well, today we are going to read out a story about him, which was shared on our Facebook page called Open Democracy, and it the credit of the story goes out to the former by Secretary of His Majesty, the Gelboi Zimpenom, the former Gelboi Zimpenom, Emma Tiring. I found the story very beautiful and very inspiring, so that's why I couldn't help from sharing with you all. The story or the article was shared on October 2013, and the title says, A GNH Doctor. Dr. Lotte Tsering for the people. And the credit of the article goes out to former Gelpoi Zimpenwom Nima Tsering, that would be former Vice Secretary of His Majesty. I will be Dr. Lotte for you, the people, till I die. Money does not matter to me, says a people's devoted doctor in Bhutan. Many of you have said, Dr. Lotte is one of your unsung heroes. He is one of my inspirations too. In fact, he is one of the world's inspirational leaders as well. He leads by compassionate example. He was honored as one of the unsung heroes of compassion in 2005 in San Francisco, USA. Day before yesterday, Friday, I sent an SMS text message to Dr. Lotte after 5 p.m., that is after normal working hours, asking him, where are you? Busy? Wanna meet for coffee? Since it was a weekend, I wanted to touch base with him. I didn't get a reply immediately. Then at 6.42 p.m., I received the reply. I am about to start my last 16th operation case for today. Wow, 16 operations in one day? One of these days, I want to be with you to observe your typical day from morning to night. I am truly inspired. Can I come tomorrow? I texted him back. He responded casually, Haha, you are welcome if it's of any good. I have done about 140 cases in the last two months for free. So yesterday, Saturday, it's a weekend but there is no weekend for Dr. Lotte. I went to observe Dr. Lotte's compassionate volunteer surgery works at Kedakom Hospital. It's Dr. Lotte's compassionate service from the heart for the people because he is no more a government doctor or a private doctor or on any payroll. For now, he is simply Dr. Lotte for the people. The only problem is my family has started thinking I am a bit crazy that I am remaining as their dependent and refusing to earn myself, he said with some stress on his face. But let's see how long I can go on. Mm. He immediately brushed off that part of the conversation. I learned that while there are many surgery cases, 
most are gallstone removing surgery called laparoscopic gallbladder surgery for gallstones. Laparoscopic gallbladder surgery removes the gallbladder and gallstones through several small cuts in the abdomen. The surgeon inserts a light scope attached to a video camera into one incision near the belly button. The surgeon then uses a video monitor as a guide while inserting surgical instruments into other incisions to remove your gallbladder. The patient will need general anesthesia for this surgery. I observed at first hand the 8th operation case for yesterday. There were 14 cases done yesterday. The patient was a woman in her late 40s. She was suffering from acute unexpected stomach pain, which later her ultrasound report showed her having gulps. She said, My stomach pain starts suddenly in the center of my upper belly and spreads to my right upper back. It is unbearable. Dr. Lotte came out of the improvised operation theater, greeted her and her family at the door, looked through her medical reports, and then teased her with a smile. Ama nga chigi pudi namis same kagun misa, nana to pom le shumchitu na bachega. So, which means, Mother, I would really love to cut your stomach because there is a big gemstone inside. Can I take it away from you? Patient smiled back at him. She was then put inside for general anesthesia by Dr. Dilpa. Dr. Dilpa is my pilot because he makes sure my patient lands unconscious properly for the surgery and later takes off properly after the surgery. Dr. Lotte said with a sense of humor, he is not only very committed but also he is highly qualified with degrees from our region as well as from Australia. He added with a more serious comment, I also have a committed team of assistants. Altogether, we are about 11 of us. He introduced me to his colleagues of compassion. What about those foods? I asked, seeing some food on a table outside. Oh, they are brought by some patients' families or other well wishes for us as our lunch, since we don't have time to go outside to eat. But we mostly share them with the families of patients from vulnerable backgrounds, Dr. Lote explained. I think in a GNH country, I am talking to a GNH doctor. I offered my compliments and admirations. Dr. Lote and team will go straight to heaven when they die, a patient's family member whispered a spontaneous comment behind me. While I was talking to Dr. Lote, he was also offering free consulting to OPD patients, general or patients. He does that during every 10 minutes break between the operations while his team is setting up the next operation. Even though it's volunteer work, they are all working very hard. Since I have good team support, each operation takes less than 20 minutes and that's why I could do about 15 operations in a day on average. Normal average in the hospital is about 5 operations in a day, he said. This is not the only life-saving noble act of kindness, but also it is time-saving for the patients as they don't have to wait a months and months for the operations. Ready in la, the patient is ready for operation, informed one of Dr. Lotte's assistants. Dr. Lotte went inside to operate. I watched the patient's video monitor with nervousness. Ready in la, the patient is ready for operation, informed one of Dr. Lotte's assistants. 
Dr. Lutte went inside to operate. I watched the patient's video monitor with nervousness. It was the video of the patient's internal organs as Dr. Lutte operated. The gallbladder was being cut from the liver inch by inch, but the devoted doctor's experienced hands in-depth knowledge and compassionate heart gave the genuine confidence to watch it as if it was not a human body that was being cut. About 20 minutes later, the eighth operation for the day was also successful. Dr. Lotte came out of the operation theater to greet the next patient at the door. At that moment, I also left the place ever more inspired. The divine act of kindness continues. I sensed that this divine act of kindness would continuously spread in all 20 districts throughout Bhutan in the months and years to come. We as a close-knit society just have to give them the needed support wherever possible and in whatever small way possible. Dr. Lotte Tering is not only one of Bhutan's best doctors, but he is also very experienced and highly qualified by international standards. He has done both MBBS and MS studies before he started practicing as a doctor. He has 10 years of experience as a surgeon. He studied urology in the USA as well as Singapore. One of his close friends said he got job offers both from the USA as well as Singapore besides offers from the region and in Bhutan. But he seems to have declined all those attractive offers without a second thought. Instead, he continues his labor of love for the people, especially for the less privileged ones. Out of curiosity, I just did some Google searches on cost implications of free time and skills. Dr. Loti is contributing to the society. In the USA, for patients without health insurance, gallbladder surgery typically costs $10,000 to $20,000. On average, a doctor's fee is about $3,200 per patient. If Dr. Lotte had taken up an offer in the USA, he would have made a Nultum 2 lakhs into 14 cases is equal to Nultum 28 lakhs yesterday alone in one day. He would have made Newton 2 lakhs into 16, that would be Newton 32 lakhs the day before yesterday, or he would have made 2 lakhs into 140 cases, that would be Newton 28 lakhs in the last two months, that would be, that is, Newton uh, 28 million or Newton 2.8 crores, averaging Newton 1.8. 5 crores per month, but that cannot buy Dr. Lotte's big heart. That simply not Dr. Lotte telling, but saving many critical lives. Dr. Lotte is contributing his time and skills for free to society simply out of his labor of love. This is truly an act of kindness, simply inspiring. For this and more, Dr. Lotte telling entered my list of inspirations of GNS Doctor. Well, that was an inspiring story or an article from His Majesty's former Vice Secretary of Bhutan and Linchin Dasho Dr. Lotus Sering still continues to do surgeries during his weekends. A doctor without salary despite being a busy Prime Minister of Bhutan.
well that's it for today and thank you for watching i will be back with another video till then don't forget to subscribe and 